Hi there, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, I'm, tonight I'm just gonna be working on some boutique bows that um, I'm using felties with and the felties I've created on my embroidery machine um, using designs that I downloaded from planetapplique.com and they're just the most adorable things. I absolutely love them and I also um, <clears throat> purchased some embellishments at Walmart as well as the uh, ribbon to go with it. So these are the felties in all of their glory before they're glued to everything. This is my boxes of junk. This is all the stuff I have to get ready just to do one. <laughs> but you need to have a glue gun and some parchment paper and just lay the parchment paper down where you're going to be working because it keeps the glue off of the table. Um, you can pause this right here and um, you know, write down what you need to get these two colors if you specifically want to use these ones. I got these at Joann's. They are a little spendy at Joann's, but you can get um, coupons. So you're going to need some felt, some spare felt, and try to make it a little thick kind of felt if you can. And these are called alligator clips. You can find them everywhere and they're the best. They hold your hair really nicely. And here's just some little bow embellishments that I've created. Now we're going to go ahead and take the scraps and we're going to cut out little um, pieces that match the backs of our, our felties. And then we're going to have little squares that go on the top of all the alligator clips. So we just put everything, we lay everything out really nice and neat so that we can kind of just grab as we go. And so first part is going to be the big white piece. And that's where we're going to be putting all of the ribbon on and stuff like that. And then once the ribbon's on, we put the um, the little face part, the little notebook, put that on there. And then you'll see, it'll kind of just kind of, it's layering, it's a lot of layering. So on our first little white scrap, we're just gonna put a piece of glue there. And we're gonna take two pieces of your choice of size. I'm not gonna put sizing on here because it never works out for me. So two pieces of your choice. And then um, you're gonna get some embellishment pieces and you just keep adding a little dot of glue and just, you know, keep on building it up. And then whenever you get to the top of your your sets of ribbons that you want out, these are gonna be the, the parts that are gonna curl. So we're gonna lay them out um, and then we're gonna flip or glue them Lay them out, lay them out, and then glue them, and then flip it over and kind of twist it a little bit to kind of give it that bow look. And then we're going to go ahead and glue this side down too. See that big old glob of glue? And my glue has glitter in it, so that's why it looks a little different. Um, I bought glitter glue once. <laughs> So here it is. It looks kind of crazy, but don't worry because it's all going to get smashed behind this little cutie. So this design right here is what made me fall in love with this whole felty set and make me want to even make these bows because I just thought that was so clever and adorable. Make a little notebook like this. So we're going to put a little glue on the back of it and then we just glue it right onto the top of that whole pile of bows. You just smash it right on top. And then we're going to put a little glob of glue anywhere that you choose. And, you know, this is the embellishment is just optional. I just think it's super cute. Um, but, you know, it could be totally tacky to somebody else. <laughs> so there's her little bow that, you know, kind of gives it the little oomph that I was looking for. I needed a little bit more color and a little bit more charm going on there. So um, I went ahead and put that. And then go ahead and flip it over. Once it's all dry and it's cooled down a little bit, flip it over and then um, that's where you're going to work now. So we're going to grab our alligator clip and our little piece of rectangle felt. We're going to glue the felt. We're going to put glue on the felt and then we're going to do the top part, the curved part. We're going to glue that to the felt. I don't know if you can really see it very well here, but there's the fuzzy part, the glue, and then the alligator clip. And then you're going to take that and you're going to glue on top of that again, and then you're going to place it directly in the middle of the bow set so that whenever it goes into your child's hair or the child's hair, it goes in nice and straight and even. And so here's the rest of them. Um, this one, I just kind of did two sets of bows and then a little side thing. I think I would have put these things under all that. Um, this, I used some tool. I just cut it out like I did the ribbon and just glued it just like I did the ribbon. And then I gave it a little embellishment up there. And um, 
<clears throat> excuse me. And then here's another one with tulle and um, and the ribbon and all the cute little ribbon stuff. And the one thing that, and here they are all finished again. One thing that I would like to um, tell you guys that I didn't do in the video is whenever you're all done with everything, you're going to want to go and get some sort of heat, heating element. Um, I have a, uh, a wood burning tool, a wood burning tool, and I just use that and I go right along the edges of the parts that you cut. So every part that you cut needs to be heat sealed at the end. These ribbons, even though they all look like fabric, it's all uh, polypropylene and it's all plastic. It really is all plastic, as beautiful as it is. It's all plastic. So you want to go up there and you want to um, get onto the edges of everything and just heat it and seal it at the end. If not, your child could be out playing and their bow comes unraveled and it just looks kind of icky, you know, and it's no big deal if you don't really care. Um, the kid's going to ruin it in a day anyways, but these are really pretty and you can probably get a lot of use out of them. Um, just make sure to, you know, heat seal your ends. That's really super duper important. Anyways, I hope that this was very helpful and I'm sorry if I went too fast. Um, and if I didn't go too fast, then I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Alrighty, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if I left anything out, please let me know. But this is how I do it. I've seen other people do it, and there's a lot of complicated ways to do a lot of really cool bows. Um, but this is just layering. Anybody can do it. Everybody can do it. <laughs> so, um, alrighty. Hope this helps. Have fun. Bye.